Hello everybody. Today I have prepared uh, this lesson on the prepositions in, on, and at when we want to use them to talk about time and places. Before starting my explanation on the prepositions, I want you to look at this particular um, picture that I have here. This picture is an indicator that you must be careful with these rules or the rules where you see um, the target, right? Which means that you need to pay attention to the rule when you are um, using it because uh, the preposition on also have a rule that is similar to this one. So we must pay attention to that, right? So, I'm gonna be starting, let me minimize this a little bit just to scroll um, down, let me minimize it a little bit more yes, so here um, here we have a complete guide about the use of the prepositions in, on, and at right? so the first use that we have for the preposition or the first preposition that I'm going to be um, explaining is the preposition in. The preposition in is not specific, it's general, right? When we want to um, give um, or talk about time using the preposition in, is not specific. For example, part of the day. This is the first rule. We use the preposition in with parts of the day. Like here, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. I'm going to write a sentence. I go to school in the morning. I go to school in the morning. With parts of the day, right, I go to school in the morning. So we use the preposition in with parts of the day. So we also use the preposition in with month of the year. Month of the year only. In January, in February, in March, in October, in August, in December, etc. Also with, with seasons in in the spring, we can say in the spring or in spring, in the summer or in summer. I go to the beach in summer. Years, we use the preposition in with years. In 1980, in 1969 or in 2013 or in... 2023. In 2023, I traveled to Europe. Decades. In the uh, 1960s, in the 70s, or in the 80s, we use also the preposition in. In and in with decades. With centuries as well. In the 15th century, in the 21st century. In weeks, in a week, in two weeks, in five weeks time, in five week, um, in five weeks time, in five weeks time, etc. With those phrases, with the word week, we use the preposition in as well. Periods of time in the past, in the next century, in the future, in the Middle Ages, in a moment, in a moment with holidays um, in the Easter holiday, with the war holidays in the Easter holiday. Right, on, on, when we use on to talk about time is more specific, right? It's more specific than the preposition in. In is too general. It doesn't give that much information. So we start with days, days of the week, Days of the week, we have uh, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Saturday, 
on Sunday. On Sunday, I go to church. I go to church on Sundays, right? On Sunday, I go to church or on Sundays as well. So we talk about, when we talk about days of the week, we must use the preposition on with dates. With dates on April 3rd, on 1st January, on the 10th, on the 4th of July. So we use the preposition um, on. My birthday, my birthday is on... Um, September September 12th my birthday is on September 12th holidays with the word day and I put the target here because this might be a little bit confusing right um, because there's another preposition that has a similar rule so that's why I put the target here so pay attention that means pay attention to the rule because you might find it confusing um, when uh, you find similar words or or there's another preposition that has a similar rule to it and let me correct this yes yeah, September and here on with holidays with the word day with all of the holidays that include the word day we must use on on New Year's Day, on Christmas Day, here we're using the word day and it's highlighted in green, right underlined in green. So on Easter Day. So with the word, with holidays, with the word day, we must use the preposition on. With specific days, days that are important, days uh, that, that are exclusive we must use the preposition on. On my birthday is an important day, it's only for you, it's exclusive to you. So, on my birthday, on my wedding, it's an important day. On that day, on that day, it's something happened, something important happened on that day. So, we use also on with the phrase that day. With time, with time, when we see the word weekend, weekdays, time, um, summer, evening, when we use the, the, the seasons with parts of the day together, we must use the preposition on. On a summer, on a summer evening, on time, on weekdays, on the weekend. In British, they use at the weekend at the weekend but it's not common in American so I'm teaching American English I don't use at the weekend um, to speak about time using the preposition on right here there's another um, target or another rule that might be confusing why day plus part of the day but you hear what part of the day but I think it's it should be used in because if we go up to the preposition in here parts of the day is here so that might be confusing for beginners so in this sense that's why I, ha I have put this one to indicate that this one this rule is similar to the rule for the preposition um, on but the difference is that we must include include a day of the week here here we have on Sunday mornings on Friday afternoon or afternoons, on Monday evenings I go to run or I go to jog, uh, to walk uh, to the park or jog to the park. So those are, uh, we use the preposition on with days plus parts of the day. Now moving on to the preposition at, the preposition at is specific. In regards or about or when we want to talk about time holidays without the word day like here we have at Easter we don't have the word day here but I think if we move a little bit up we have Easter here but 
we use on because we are including the word day on Easter day but here we do not include or we don't we don't use the word day here that's why we must use at because it's very specific at Easter at Christmas um, etc with time with specific times at 7 a.m. at 12 o'clock at 12 15 at 3 um, at 3 35 um, another important thing, this is also a rule that some of, of, of my students find confusing because they say, but night is also a part of the day, midnight is also part of the day, but there are prepositions that must go with certain words. And this is one of those cases where we must use the preposition at to, uh, when, when, we, when we use the word night, noon, midday, midnight, dusk, dawn, sunset, and sunrise. At midnight, at night, at noon, with all of these, whenever you see these words in a test, the preposition that you must use is the preposition at. Also with time phrases, with these um, phrases like here, at present, at the weekend, at breakfast with with you know um, with those period in which we have to eat something like at breakfast at lunch at brunch at dinner so we must use the preposition at at dinner or at brunch at brunch um, at dinner time or at, at uh, etc so at the moment at the moment we also use this at the same time as well so we must be mindful when we use or when we see these prepositions uh, these phrases we know that we must use the preposition at now moving on to uh, uh, the use of the prepositions in on and at but with places with places with location locations we must uh, and I, I really suggest my students whenever they have like a ways for example or Google Maps put them in English because uh, you learn the the prepositions um, when when you know ways is, is is leading you to certain places especially if you if you put it in English so that's a great um, help to learn about the use of the prepositions in a more practical way. But starting with the preposition in, we use a preposition in when we want to talk about countries in England, in America, I studied in America or she studied in England last year or for cities in London, in New York. Uh, for neighborhoods in um, the China or in Chinatown in Monagrigio or in San Miguelito etc those are places something that I want to uh, highlight here or um, whenever I explain things like this names that are uh, proper are not translated into English uh, for example in um, Pan de Azúcar is not translated in San Miguelito is not Saint Michael, right? Because um, we we won't be able to find a place because it doesn't exist uh, if we use it. Uh, if we translate, if we translate it into English. Enclosed spaces. Enclosed spaces. We use in in a traffic jam, in a building, in a car. In a car, why is it an enclosed place? Because we cannot walk, we cannot move, we just remain seated. And um, in a building, we can walk, yes, but it's an enclosed place. In a traffic jam, we cannot move uh, when we are in a traffic jam. So those are enclosed place spaces. Um, used for means of transport that we can walk on, we use on. On a bus, we can walk on a bus. I'm on a bus right now, or I'm walking on a train, or I'm on the plane right now. We can walk on a plane because it's a it's a it's a means of transportation that is big enough for us to move 
on on it so we use uh, the preposition on in this case we didn't use in the plane I'm in the plane no it's not correct because we can walk in a plane so we use on the plane with social media whenever you want to talk about social media for example I'm on whatsapp right now I'm I'm on what what I'm on whatsapp right now whenever we want to talk about social media we must use the preposition on or I'm on the internet or I'm on the phone or uh, she's on the ra the radio now or she's on air also with this phrase on air also so with services when 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 we want when we want to use the preposition or we want to talk about like surfaces for example that something is on something we use on on the wall on the floor on the roof especially if the surface surface is flat like on the road as well and and is used for exact addresses and intersections exact addresses and intersections so, uh, something else I don't think if it's here but uh, I think I'm gonna include it here from specific places for example on Oxford on Oxford Street with names of street we use the preposition on on Oxford Street on Cinco de Mayo on Cinco de Mayo right um, we also use on to, to talk about um, uh, the names of the street but we want but, but, but when we have the intersection the exact address uh, we use at at 20, 23rd Bird Street or at 734 State Street so it's more specific for locations specific locations or locations that are really famous that everybody uh, knows that are like the benchmark of a place uh, we use also the preposition at at the Empire State Building with phrases like at the corner at the bus stop at school at the bookstore at the restaurant she's at the restaurant right now um, so this is the explanation of the prepositions of place uh, in on place and time in on and at um, I think I summarized the most or most of the uses that they have. Uh, so now let's let's do a little bit of a quiz here. We we have here I saw her Christmas or Christmas. Which preposition we must use here? Which preposition is the one that we must used in this case which is the one that we must select let me move this over here just to type something over let me put it here yes so here the preposition that we must use is the preposition at I saw her at I saw her at Christmas let me, let me put it here I saw her at Christmas so this is the preposition that we must use why because the rule says that let me go up um, with Christmas right we must use at and I saw her at Christmas question number two I saw her in on or at what is your answer you got it when we use the word day with Christmas or Easter or any any holiday we must use the preposition on according to the rules just go up to the table and review it um, and you'll see the rule um, clearly over there um, I was born in on and at time to think about it yes you're right 
the preposition that we must use here is the preposition in because with months of the year we, we use in question number four it happened it happened yes it happened in 2001 and let me close this yes the next one is he started work he started work days of the week we use the preposition on he started work on Monday question number six she often goes out in on at yes you got it at is the answer at night because with the word night we use the preposition at we use the preposition at when we talk about time here time yeah with phrases like at night at noon at midday here's the rule and it's highlighted with the target one the target picture so it means that it's a little bit you know tricky sometimes so let's go back to the quiz uh here she often goes out yeah here is friday night here we have uh, a part of the day and we have um friday which is a day of the week so we must use on on friday night Question number eight, it rains a lot, spring. Yeah, you got it, the preposition is in, in spring because in is a season and with seasons we use in. I get up 7 a.m. Yes, you got it, the preposition to be used here is at. And question 10, the lessons are the afternoon afternoon is um is a part of the day so we use a preposition in the afternoon it was popular the 90s decades in on or at yes you got it in the 90s or in the in the 80s sorry the party is the party is sometimes we uh, we must not use our prepositions so probably this is one of the cases because in on and out does not um, fit over here so we don't use any preposition here so the party is next week question 13 the class is Tuesday and Thursday days of the week and with days of the week we must use on it was popular the 20th century with the word or with centuries we use the preposition in I hope this video um, helped you understand the most common um, functions of the prepositions in on and at when we want to talk about places or locations and about time this is a very complete guide um, that is going to help you improve in regards to the decision making when you're taking a test and you don't know which one to pick so I think it's a very complete one and if you have any, if, if you have any concern about it or about any rule that you didn't get um, through uh, please drop me a line, drop me a message, and I'll be more than glad to explain that over again. Um, right? If you have, uh, if you don't have any other questions or concerns, if you have, please um, comment below, and take care. Bye bye.